If you see this padlock on your car, you might find a note attached with a number for you to call. The number is for a nearby scammer or thief, hoping you'll call so that they will charge you to remove the lock. Once you transfer the money, the scammers will give you information on where to find the key. It's usually not too far away from the car. They know that removing it yourself will cause damage to the paint. The best you can do is call the police immediately. Here are a few tricks up the car thief's evil sleeves they don't want you to be aware of. Older cars are their favorite, with decades of knowledge on how to access them. They understand those vehicles lack any alarms. They use manual window rollers and no tracking devices. The thought of a target as easy to steal as this is enough to cause them to salivate. Cars that are older than 20 years tick the box for all these red flags. Though you might think your car is so old that it's not worth much anyway, the thieves mostly want the parts. The parts in the old cars are worth a lot more than you would think. Supplying the valuable insides to the right buyer ensures they're worth the risk. An easy way to prevent your older car from being stolen is simply applying a steering wheel lock. The sight of that will deter anyone who's acting suspiciously nearby. The thieves' unfortunate attraction sometimes isn't towards the car itself, but what's within. Your iPad or other electronic devices clearly visible on the seat would be an easy steal. They're not bothered by quick smashing, grabbing, and running. A few hundred dollars of gear for a couple of seconds of work is a very appealing situation. So make sure you hide your valuables, preferably in one of the many hidden compartments, or lock them up in the trusty glove box. Statistically, one out of six car owners in safe neighborhoods keep a spare key inside the vehicle. Some owners think this is smart and can help save time in case they leave the primary key in the house. Bad guys stroll through unsuspecting neighborhoods late at night on a regular basis, checking every car just in case they hit that lucrative sixth car. Never be too careful with your keys. Public parking lots are extensive and can stretch over large areas. They're also a gold mine for those lurking quietly on the outer edges, eyeing off the cars furthest from the security cameras. Decent security is generally lacking at those large parking lots, so try to find the best spot closest to the shops. There are ways to park your car to make it problematic to tow or drive away. Park it so the front is facing inwards, ensuring there is an obstacle, like a light or a guardrail there. If you're parking on the street, turn the wheel towards the curb, locking it into place to make it harder to steal in every way. Would you believe those car thieves also have communities of their own? Each thief has their own specialty of a car brand or type. They will trade intel with the other crooks, so if their experience isn't enough to access your car, they will know someone who trades their knowledge for something viable in return. Cars with alarms are a great deterrent from thieves. If your car is a bit outdated, there's no harm in putting a fake sticker on it. The sticker alone is enough to discourage a would-be thief as they briefly scan the assortment at their disposal. Most people are sure that a newer car is safer, with groundbreaking technology to prove it. But ultimately, there are newer, more sophisticated forms of car theft. Keyless systems in cars use a random process through key fobs and smartphones. Using a short-range signal allows for the owner to access their vehicle and start the engine. Relay thieves will use wireless transmitters working as pairs. One will hold their gadget close to the owner, capturing a signal that specifically relates to the digital key. It then relays it to the target vehicle. The accomplice, standing closer to the car, obtains the relay signal, tricking the car into thinking the key is within range. Once the thief is inside the car, the process can be repeated, then easily starting the car. From there, the entire system can be reprogrammed to respond to a new key fob. They can use the same process by just opening the doors and accessing the valuable contents within the car. It ensures the thief can remove what they like without setting off any alarms or smashing any windows. A further form of deceiving these newer models is through their diagnostics. With all that that has been fitted into all cars within the last 10 years, copying the same technology and software allows systems to be simply understood and vulnerable. Computer experts easily develop devices that plug into key ports, booting up the vehicle software, and from there can program their own blank key fob. To avoid these new age concerns, keep cautious when leaving the car in a public area. 
Ensure you hear the locks functioning and inspect from a distance that there's no change with the side view mirrors. When you leave the keys overnight at your residence, wrap them in an aluminum tin or a signal blocking box, ensuring your car can't be hacked while you sleep. Or simply just turn off your fob when you're not using it. As technology continues to progress, applications will continue to develop. They will not only lock and start your car, but will be capable of controlling it. Those progressive technologies will bring along new advanced methods of accessing your car. To counter this, ensure all your software is updated and safeguard your entry code with something better than a password. Bad guys do prefer older vehicles, but keyless car thefts are growing exponentially. Today, most stolen car thefts are keyless. Thieves are quickly developing how to adapt to the new age of vehicles within their reach. Although there are protective measures in place for newer cars, the technology is only for the short term. When purchasing a newer model, always be open to whatever security options are available. Who knows what the future will hold for the safety of your smart car? Consider buying a baby monitor and hiding it in the back seat. It will ensure you have a very affordable surveillance monitoring system ready to alert you of a sudden break-in. Hot wiring older cars is the main form of stealing them. So install an off switch to your car's engine. A professional can install them for you in multiple locations in your car. They will ensure that the power has no way of reaching the ignition of your car and no thieves will be able to drive away with it. Install a removable wheel and take it with you when not using your car. Thieves won't carry around their own spare steering wheel, regardless of how talented they think they are. A wheelless car will make certain thieves will stay clear. A steering lock is also a great option. It completely covers your wheel and functions similarly to the wheel lock for older cars. Extended stays in a parking lot could still be a risk without a steering wheel. A tire lock is a great alternate option. Although it takes a long time to install, it will serve as an excellent way to deter the bad guys as they won't be able to drive away in your car. Given how fast the criminal must act to get into a car and escape, they don't have the time to search the vehicle for any tracking devices. Although older cars lack this technology, they're easily available to purchase. You can easily hide a GPS tracker, some of them smaller than a phone, inside your car. It will give you and the authorities an advantage when tracking down your beloved ride. In the USA, a car is stolen on average every 36 seconds. The top 10 cars stolen are the Dodge Pickup, Honda CRV, Toyota Corolla, GMC Pickup, Nissan Altima, Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, Honda Civic, Chevrolet Pickup, and the Ford Pickup. A $7.4 billion loss was estimated in 2020 due to car thefts. It was the highest amount in 10 years, and it's logical to expect that the number will continue to grow further. Given the range of cars within the thieves' target area, it's clear that all cars are potential targets. Is your car on the list?